if you have a mobile and want to start making games with Godot, you are in the correct place. After watching this video, you will have learned all Godot basics so you can start making your own games. All this in just 8 minutes and using your phone. We will create a very basic prototype for you to start understanding all about Godot, but we will have something playable by the end and you will have learned a lot of things. Now, let's start. The first step is to actually download Godot and to do so, we will go to our Play Store and over here we are just gonna look for Godot, okay? You will find two versions, version number 4 and version number 3. For this video, as we are gonna be doing something very, very simple, we are just going to install version number 3. Once it is completely downloaded, you're gonna click open. It's gonna ask you to give it all file access, so of course, you're gonna give it. And then you're gonna click on the arrow on the top left. Now we will just close this window. And now we will be able to start creating our projects, okay? So let's click here, new project, and here we will type in a name for our project. So in this case, I'm gonna write basic tutorial. Then I'm gonna create I'm gonna create a new folder. So I'm gonna click here. Then I'm gonna change the renderer to this one that as you can see has lower visual quality. Again, we're gonna keep everything as simple as possible and as performant as possible. So once this is done, click create and edit and wait a couple of seconds. And now here we are. I'm going to be explaining the very basics of the Godot engine. This video is sponsored by Semba. If you're excited about game development with Godot 4, you've got to check out Semba Academy. They offer easy to follow courses that are ideal for both beginners and intermediate level developers who are looking for structured learning pathways. What's awesome about Semba is how they make learning fun and practical. You get professional video tutorials, written lessons and interactive quizzes. You'll work on real projects, building games in different genres like open world, RPGs and FPS. With one subscription including a 7 day free trial, you unlock over 250 courses and 32 learning pathways. Use the link in the description to get an extra 20% off the first year of your annual Semba subscription. So, if you are ready to dive into Godot 4, Semba is the place to be. Grab this offer and start your game development journey today. We have a lot of windows and I'm gonna be explaining them uh, fast, okay, so we don't waste a lot of time. Here on the inspector, that is this window over here, we will be able to modify the different components and properties of our game objects. Then here on our scene, we will have the different objects that will contain our scene. Then here we also have the file system, we will have all of our files. Finally, here on the top, we can change between 2D, 3D environment and here on the script editor. Basically, the script is the file that we use in order to write our code. Those are the most important windows, I think. Now, let's switch to uh, 2D mode. Then here, if you do this with your fingers, you will be able to zoom in and out. Then to move, you use these two scroll bars, okay? Having that explained, let's actually start coding our project. So, first of all, what I want to create is a text on the top of my screen. Okay, and then a text right here and a button at the center. Okay, so then what I want to do is that when I press the button, I want to increase by one my score. Just a very basic score counter. So, here I'm going to create a user interface node. And then here, having it selected, I'm going to click the plus icon over there. And I'm going to need a label because we want to display some text. Also, when we are looking for a node, here we have a brief description about it. So let's click here, create. Here in the text, initially, let's just write here zero. I'm going to align it both horizontally and horizontal and vertically on the center. Now let's scroll down a little bit and here under rect using the scale I'm gonna give it a scale on both axes and then here uh, on layout I'm gonna center top it 
Select the control node again, click the plus icon and add the button. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Then again layout and I'm gonna center it on my screen. If you want, you can select again your text, click the move tool and then move it a little bit to the left until it is centered. This isn't the actual correct way of changing the size of a label, but well, at least for now it's gonna work. And then here on our button, on the text, let's put plus one. Select the control node again. And then let's attach a script with this button. Let's uh, click enter. And now here, let's erase all this code over here. I'm gonna create a new variable that is gonna be storing our current score. So to do so, we write the keyword bar, then the name of our variable that is gonna be score, and we have to assign a value to it, okay? So in this case, we are just gonna give it initially a zero. After having that correctly, select the button, go to node, then here in signals, click where it says pressed, connect, and connect. This is gonna create a new function that it's gonna be called uh, when we press our button. So when we press our button, we want to, to increase our score by one. We will erase that and here type score class equal one. This is gonna say add one to the actual value, due to the current value that score has. Then we're gonna grab our label with the dollar symbol, we do that. Okay, we type in label dot, we want to modify its text and we are gonna assign our score variable. But firstly, we have to convert it to a string. So let's type here string and between those score. Then we will click here play and we will select our current scene. If it doesn't let you, we have to firstly save our scene. So let's go to scene and then save scene. And here we will click OK. And then again, we will try it. OK, here we have our game. And when we press, as you can see, this score starts going up. If you actually want to export this game as an APK, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for this video. As you can see, completely without a PC, everything from your mobile phone. If you go to the playlist of the channel, link down below, you will be able to find a complete playlist about how to make games in mobile with Godot with two full courses. I hope this video has been helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel to also learn more about Godot Mobile. If you wanna see more similar content, like and comment the video. See you in the next one.